Hey guys, welcome to the channel one more time. It is Joe Jaguar, and I'm here with a Skywatcher 8 inch F6, and that's 1200 millimeter focal length. Now, this is the newer style of Skywatcher makes, and this is a 10 inch F5, and it is again also um, 1200 millimeter focal length. So, in an 8 inch, 1200 millimeter focal length becomes an F6. And then in a 10 inch, uh, 1200 millimeters is only F5. So they're almost about the same height. Now, really, look how tall the, um, you know, the sky, well, both of them kind of have a big space. So really, um, Skywatcher could have made them about four inches, uh, this one maybe five inches less, but they probably, I'm not sure why they made them that high anyway. But uh, as you can see, they're about, almost five foot tall. I would say four foot eight, four foot nine, actually did not measure, but I'm um, five six, so it's just under five inch somewhere. Uh, so they are kind of portable. On the eight inch model, I could carry the whole thing, base and all. I think this one is about 20 pounds uh, roughly for the tube uh, and 20 pounds roughly for the base. Now, if you're just going 20, 30, 40 feet, an adult could carry it one piece. This one is a little bit more heavier, being 10 inch. Uh, it's probably uh, 25 to 30 pounds the top and probably about 25 pounds of base. Again, somebody could do it all in one piece like I am doing here, but not for too long uh, of, of a time. Now, both of them are reflectors, so which means they you do need periodic collimation. What's neat about this newer design, now this newer design from this design is only just slightly under $200, I think it's about $180 difference, the same size. So an eight inch, this one is like 680 with tax Canadian. And I think it's about $180 more to get this flex tube, they call it. Uh, what's nice about it, uh, depending, you know, whatever size you get, is that because it's open design, it has pluses, but it also has minuses. So it actually uh, compacts about 14 inches. Uh, I already measured that part, 14 inches uh, less, and now you can see they were about the same size. So if you're putting this in a car, uh, in the back seat, in the trunk, um, it is more portable, more easier to carry. Now, just wanted to add, if you do put this in a trunk, sometimes I just put like a thick blanket or a towel, that's not good enough. Get a blanket, even though a blanket is gonna be, you know, wrap it three, four times, that will dampen vibrations more where maybe it won't collimate or thick foam. Uh, I would recommend that first, guys, because you don't wanna get it out of collimation. And if you're brand new, the it's not as easy as to do. You gotta. The laser has to be, or first your secondary, has to be right centered on the focuser, then the angle has to be perfect, the beam has to go to the mirror, and then if you have the ones with that center dot, then you have to return the beam on the center hole. If you guys uh, are in the hobby, you'll know what I mean. But anyway, it's not as easy for brand new people. But anyway, this is actually, uh, you know, of course it costs more on this feature for them to make and design. Uh, so you got to pay a little bit more for this feature to be more portable. Okay, so anyway, um, the downfall of this kind, because it's open kind of tube here, straight light can get in from any angle uh, type of thing. And so you need to have like a, it's called a shroud. So it's basically like a black tarp that comes here. It should be, I would say, felt lined. Go to fabric land or whatever and you put a little velcro and it just should cover here anyway guys this is what a older version uh, this is called a classic uh, sky watcher but it doesn't you know every company makes Dobsonian so this is just what an 8 inch a classical uh, Dobsonian is it's cheaper than the newer design that um, has this flex uh, truss tube where it actually shrinks there is a third one that has this upper cage and this one's a little bit long, but a full truss system, like for instance, uh, with the 
the, ba the bottom of it would also be about here, making the rods twice as long, so it would even compact. Uh, and these poles do not come out, type of thing. Uh, they're kind of fixed. Um, so it just shrinks 14 inches, but you have the real truss tube versions that the poles come off and is much, much portable, and you can get a way bigger telescope, um, but they do cost more as well. So everything has its pros and cons. Anyway, guys, this is two different Dobsonians by Skywatcher. All the other companies make, you know, similar, but it's just a, it's a solid tube version. This is what they call a flex tube, which is kind of like a half a truss tube, is, it looks like. And uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys uh, like the difference. Oh, just wanted to add a 10 inch will collect almost about 50% more light gathering power so you can see the galaxies, clusters, uh, nebulas better. So that's gonna also be the difference between a 10, sorry, an eight, a 10, and then, you know, 12 and so on. The bigger it is, the more light it's gonna collect, uh, collect, you're gonna see more. See you guys on the next video. Like, subscribe, and comment. Joe Jaguar.